Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about using royalty-free images in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. One of my favorite Doodly features is the ability to import your own graphics. Whether you have Doodly Standard, Enterprise, or access to Marketplace, sometimes you just can't find the right image. If you're an illustrator, being able to import your own artwork is huge. If not, if you're like me, then you're going to need to depend on some royalty-free graphics sites. Let's take a look at some of the royalty-free sites that you could use. Here are some of the popular ones. Freepick.com, Pixabay.com, Pexels.com, Wikimedia.com, and there are a ton more. Now, I tend to use Freepick and Pixabay the most. Attribution, is it required? Well, yes and no. It depends on where you're getting your graphics. Pixabay is really nice because you do not have to give any attribution. You don't have to say, hey, I found this image on Pixabay. This little cat here, I did find on Pixabay, <laughs> but I don't have to disclose that if I don't want to. With freepick.com, if you do not have the premium membership, then yes, you have to somewhere in your video, you know, maybe you have credits running at the end, you have to say images provided by freepick.com or something of the like. One of the perks of paying for the premium is that you do not have to do any sort of attribution. So any free pick graphics that I use, because I have the premium license, I don't have to say this is where I got it. And I just find that very convenient. I don't mind saying where I got my images. So that's not a problem. It's just remembering and doing it properly. So I like that. Download type and sizes. Let's go over to one of those sites right now. Um, we'll use free pick as an example. And let's pick a graphic. You'll notice right here, file types, AI, EPS, JPEG, and SVG. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right here. And I can either download all of the types or I can choose. Today, I'm going to take an SVG. And I'm going to show you why. If you have that option, it's very handy. Let's go back into Doodly. Let's go to a blank scene. Go to props. Let's import it. Let's give it a name. And here he is, looking very cute. And this is a simple enough one that I think this will work out OK. Let's hit the little pencil icon and hit load SVG paths. Say okay. Well, there's quite a few, so maybe this is a bad example. We'll try it. Preview. No, oh, it turned out okay. So if you notice when I hit preview, the hand automatically drew this image for me. See how he did the yarn first? And now he's doing the face and then the body and then the stripes. So that is super cool when that works out. I will note it doesn't always work out. You want a very simple image like I picked with this one that doesn't have a ton of paths. And then if you have a ton of paths, like hundreds and hundreds of them, it'll just slow doodly down and you won't be happy with the results. So let's go to Pixabay. You notice I typed in doodle art up here for my search. So everything that I'm seeing is kind of doodly-ish. Doodly enough that it might work okay. So I did not specify anything. I'm just kind of browsing for some inspiration. Let's say I like this one. I'm a monster. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And again, for download, you get options. In this case, I want PNG. Okay, so there's no SVG offered. There is a vector graphic. If you have like Illustrator or something and you want to work with all the layers, go for it. But for me, I'm happy with just PNG, but I want to make sure on my size. 1920 by 1080 is the largest that Doodly will support. So I think I'll go with this one, 1280 by 1280, and I think that will work. So download, let's go here, and we're just gonna import this in. And here he is, okay? Now I want you to notice something. See how this white background covers whatever's behind it? That may or may not be an issue, but if it is, we're gonna go over here 
to what I wanted to talk about next, editing tips. So I'm finding this is problematic because what if I wanted the cat to be in the background, but it's covering it. So yes, sometimes you do need to edit your graphics before you bring them in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little monster original image and I'm gonna open it up in Pixelmator Pro and I'm gonna do some very minimal editing. I want to get rid of this background. So I click on my little color selection and I'm just gonna go here and select this background. And I'm gonna delete it, okay? I think this will be fine. You can get more specific and delete all these little whites in the leaves if you wanted. I don't think I need that for my use case today, so I'm not gonna do that. Now I'm gonna unselect this. I don't really like these graphics here where he's talking, okay? So I'm gonna delete those. So I'm gonna take my little selection tool and just delete it. I'm just taking care not to delete things I don't want to delete. And that's fine. I like that perfectly well. So now I'm gonna export it as a PNG because I want this transparency. Okay, so they're close in size. But see now how I can put him in front of my cat where before he would cover the cat. Now this is not an SVG file, so it will not automatically draw. Here's what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and hit the pencil icon. Up here in the corner, you see the preview, the default scribble, it just comes on diagonally. If you wanted, you could set your own drawing paths for this. I think this is a little too complicated for that, so I'm not going to. Instead, I'm gonna choose Fade, save and return. Move it just a little in front. Okay, now let's preview this. Okay, so he's drawing on my first cat and then the other one's gonna fade on here. A final note, you notice these images that I imported, some of them are in color. And yes, you can import your images in color or black and white depending on how they are created. You do not need doodly rainbow in order to import colored graphics. It's if you're using royalty free ones and bringing them in, it's, it's not a problem. And there you have it. That's how you can use royalty free images in doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.